be great for your household in the name of Jesus I come against the forces of darkness against your November that this year November will speak greatness November will produce greatness November will give death to greatness in Jesus my name amen amen God bless you God bless you please say this after me Lord Jesus speak to me with a language I will understand Take me to the place where I belong, a place of power, a place of signs and wonder. That is where I belong, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Please, those of you here, have your seat. Those of you connecting on Facebook, God bless you. Now, today is November the 2nd. We have already entered this month of November, and as a prophetic prophet for you, it is important for us to identify what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you concerning this month. God has promised you and we have received it. What did God promise you? God did promise from the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 2. God did promise that every month it will cause a new fruit to come to you. Fruits, fruits, blessings to come to you, to come to your household, to come to your family. Every month. And this is 2020, 2022, November the 2nd, and God wants to do so for you. He wants to bring the blessings to you. He said that it, it is supposed to be fruit every month. Now, one of the things about God is this. How do God do something in your life? When God wants to do something in your life, something great, something special, how will God do it? Two ways, two major ways. You want to know these two ways. There are two kind of ways that God will do something big in your life. Just like you have to you know, pay attention to it. One of the ways is that he sends you a word. Another way is that he brings, he allows confusion he allows mistake you know sometimes i think people forget that everybody meets god you 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 are most closer to god the place you meet god is the place where you identify that lord i am a sinner think about it when did you get saved you get saved the day you say lord i'm a sinner that was the day god entered your life you recognize your sins and that is when God gets closer to you. So God always gets closer when you recognize that there is chaos in your life and you need him to come in for, your del for deliverance. So that's one of the ways. Another way that God will enter your life is through sending a word. Now, I know some of you are saying, Prophet, God don't send me no word. <laughs> God did not send me no word. I don't know what you're talking about. God did not send me no word. Now, it's okay. The question for you is that do you have dreams? If you do dream, then God did send you a word. So sometimes your dream is God sending you a word. You know, so you have to pay attention because sometimes you are not able to pay attention. So God have to come through dreams. Amen. Sometimes God could come through other things that is happening throughout the day. The elements it helps you. Anything God is allowing you to focus on is, is, is something God is planting in your spirit because God knows whether you realize it or not, it is going to be a blessing in your path and in your walk with God. Amen? But one of the most popular ways that the church is used to, and we're going to also approach it from that way, is that you are entering November, you, because there are many believers like yourself that are saying, I'm praying to God, Father, I want you to make a way for me. I want you to bless my month. I want things to happen. I, I want protection. I want safety. I want deliverance. I want to scale. I, I want a lot of things to align for me. Now, be careful because one of the quick things I've just, I just want to say this before I kind of get into the word part. One of the things that I've noticed that in my own life that God will use I was sharing with my brother uh, this morning. Something happened last yesterday that uh, I had to um, respond to. Um, and um, I decided not to respond yesterday. 
Uh, it is dealing with some big stuff I'm doing within just bank stuff. Amen. Bank related things. Amen. Big stuff I'm doing. So I decided not to, pretty much I can share a little bit of it. It's about this, you know, the increase of different interest rates. Amen. Glory be to God. It's, that's what it's related to. Just to give you so that you don't think of something as your brain don't begin to walk wild. Like, what the prophets think about. No, this is relating to money and interest rate and different things. All right. Because the federal government is going crazy with interest rate and stuff like that. So that's what it's related to. So <laughs> the banks were talking to me. They said, they sent me some stuff. Uh, so I signed it and I allowed it to go and stuff like that. But even though I signed already and just to be quick in it, because the Holy Spirit said you have to do that, I have to now get a miracle. Amen. You see, when things happen, respond. But then, if you're a child of God, you have to know, my God, everything is a miracle. But if you do not know, you will get angry that why did they increase this interest rate or why are they interested in increasing this? That your anger will not allow you to let God walk. So, say, but prophet, if you already signed it's over, who told you it's over? It's not over until God says it's over. I don't believe it. <laughs> so, what did I do? I pushed back. I, I did what ne was needed immediately. Then I pulled back. I just want to, because I want to say to you that in the midst of some time, whatever you may call chaos in your life, there's always an opportunity of a miracle. It, it is always in there. My God, I feel like two days ago, I was also sharing that with Pastor Vine. I said, something has happened. There's a miracle in it, but you need to calm down. And I said, prophet, it seems like you are telling me that if I must receive a miracle, I must be ten times patient than my enemies. Oh my God, that's a good word if you don't know how valuable that is. If you're going to be, have a miracle, too many times, patient causes us not to receive the breakthrough. Do you know that all the prayers, I can teach you about prayer. Prophet, go ahead. Power, prayer. And I finish teaching you and your note is filled up. You are writing, you are excited, you are dropping around. But one anger that will happen very close to your miracle when the devil provoke you. We destroy our eight hours prayer. Because you could not handle yourself. So, sometimes I tell people, cool, then it's not all these kind of prayers you've prayed and everything. When the battle starts, do you know how to relax? Can you relax when there is storm everywhere? Kia Osha. Amen. When the bank is talking crazy, that one is talking crazy, the other one is talking. Can you relax? Can you relax in storms? We that are shining, we are relaxing storm. It's not that there is no storm, but we are too settled. Storm don't move us. That's what makes us strong. So, relax. First of all, what did I do? Just show you my process a little bit. I'm going to get into it. What I did is this. When there is a storm, count the cost. Because so many times we exaggerate the cost. Count the cost. Everything have a cost. Count the cost. Because sometimes the cost is not as big. You don't want to go crazy over $3 when you are worth $3 million. They want to go crazy. I've seen people get themselves into craziness that is not even worth your time or your energy or your breath. Because sometimes you think you are fighting something, but you are fighting yourself because you don't even know your value, that you are more value than what is being requested of you. Some, this is not what the preaching I plan. I don't know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> Amen. Maybe this is important to somebody there. I didn't plan this one. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I didn't plan this one. I got my, this note has filled today by fire by force. <laughs> Amen. That's not what I planned. I didn't even plan to share this, but I was just going to write through it. But, but I know it's important. Glory be to God. And so what my process was that, first of all, before, the brain will always overreact. Amen. So the first thing to do is to count the cost. When I count the cost, first of all, and engage who I am and the kind of knowledge I have, the problem was good for me. I needed it because the problem was a breakthrough. 
Amen. When I apply all the task laws I knew, amen, I now saw that that was not a problem. That was a blessing when task come. First of all now, you see that? So, just with the knowledge God has given me in the task aspect and compliance and governance, I know that I know too much to dismantle this interest rate. So, when you plug it in, and you check the data, you should be more excited and go and we were fasting, so I could not go and drink coolie. I don't drink coolie, by the way. <laughs> Amen. So, somebody can, so, first of all, that was the first approach. But it happens sometimes what you are reacting to, there is anointing in your life, there's so many stuff you know that you can easily solve this. And don't get into the spirit to begin to blame the people, though. Don't get into the spirit because. This morning, I now decided to initiate now call to the bank. So I call a friend I have there, the bank manager. And the bank manager said, I didn't send that to you. I said, uh, it did come. I did sign it anyway because I, I, I looked at the, the LTV and the rest of it. It's still the same. The DSCRO is still the same. So that's all fine with me. You know? I said, but what are people doing in this time that you are about to kill people? Not me, you can't kill me. But you are about to kill people because people that don't have knowledge, you are giving them a problem. And he say people are quitting over the place. I say, oh, I'm so sorry. I pray it's not our church members quitting. Amen? Say people, when this interest craziness, amen, it's just making people quit, leaving their down payment, doing that, doing that. I say, oh, really? I say, hmm. I feel sorry for people that do not have other ways to apply knowledge to get themselves to be victorious over the storm, first of all. But then I said, okay, you know, celebrated the other part and everything. But the problem is not which is not a problem, which I already solved. But then, dropped the phone and uh, I called Pastor Fai. I said, Pastor Fai, look at the problem that happened. I said, really? What? Wow, man of God. So what do you see in this? I said, you see me, so I'm dancing. He said, is it that because you know how to apply other ways to them? I said, no, not that. Though. I said, I'm about to get a miracle out of this. Watch me. Watch me. He said, Prophet, how can somebody get a miracle out of this? I said, watch me. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> watch how I get a miracle out of this. Praise the Lord. Made other phone calls. Praise the Lord. And the people asked me, Wow. We caused this problem, so what do you want from us? I love that kind of answer. What do you want? Then I can see them in my big chest. Hey, November, thank you. Hey, <laughs> Alabusa. Amen. I prophesy to you, you've been in the place where they're asking you, what do you want? How, I say you've been in the place where they will be asking you, how can we say to you? <laughs> because we still like to do things with you. So what do we need to do to make you to be at peace? But prophet, you already know how to solve that problem. Then you want to go and still collect from the other side. Yeah, because the problem was not caused by me. <laughs> Who caused the problem has to pay me. I didn't make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you pay me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so they pay. And uh, then after that, I saw a breakthrough in that. Then I now say, okay, not only that. Now watch this. After all of that, I'm showing you a process. I now say, okay, what next? The Lord now said, engage the prophetic grace you have now. So now, I'm about to tap into the spirit world and see what is God up to. Now that one you may not be able to do to yourself if you don't know how to do that one. That one is my expertise. So when I went in there, <laughs> I now saw the problem. Prophet, you waited. I went in there. I wrap up my prayers at 5 o'clock, 5 5.30. You know, today is our second day of fasting, if you do not know. So I saw everything now. I know the problem happening. So now I can communicate with a different frequency. <laughs> There's somebody catch now. So now, God now begins to show me that the reason for the problem is he wants me to connect with those people. So who did I see? The owners of the company in the spirit world were the one that visited me. I summoned them. <laughs> Kabusha, there is a problem and I need a blessing. You see, 
The problem is that you have a problem where you don't need a blessing. <laughs> if you need a blessing, you will get a blessing from the problem. But when you are busy, angry at God, you will not see what you need to do. Did you see me bother God of a problem one time in the whole case? It started with a warfare. What is the first step I did? I responded quick to my enemies. What did I do? I agreed. Then I pulled back. and started all over again. You know what some of us, we delay to agree. When you delay to agree, they will think you are a trouble person. You can agree and go back and begin to send your emails. Because sometimes you do not know. It is not your shouting that will bring you to your destiny. It is not your own power that will make this work. It's how spiritual and diligent and strategic you are. Do you know there are people that want to fight so that no injustice happen to you? They don't even know you. But they are willing to fight for you that no injustice happen to you. How can God connect you to those kinds of people when every problem that arises, you see problem? You see problem? I don't see problem. I see very good. Good. Thank you, Jesus. The thing that will give people panic attack, it gives me joy attack. Joy attack. And when panic attack is supposed to rush through my spirit, joy attack rush through my spirit. I say, I receive this joy attack. It's how you want to take it, you take it. You are too angry at God for God to show you there's a way out. You are too angry at God for God to show you the storm is the blessing. You are too angry at God with what you are. You are too complaining. That's why God cannot connect you. He now showed me the vision. He said, these people, this one. He said, I want to connect you to the owner of that company. I didn't plan to know the owner. Now, they don't know they're about to know me yet, though. Because that will be for tomorrow. But me, I know today. I'm preaching it today. <laughs> because I know. I saw the vision already. We are ahead. But if there is no problem, how can he bless me? Is the problem the nurse? Who is that guy we cause problem for? See, it is me. It is me you are cause problem for. <laughs> it is me you are cause problem. Okay, sorry. What can we do to treat you better? Uh, sir, don't worry about treating me better. There are other things I won't want to do with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't worry about treating me better. I know. You know, there are other things I want to do with you. God wanted to connect. Are you a believer? Yes, I'm a believer. I believe in Jesus. Oh, good. I saw you in my vision yesterday. We started a different topic now. You are busy. There's a problem. Problem first of all that you can even solve if you have sense of tax. You now carry it. The people are giving me the earth is wicked. There is no wickedness anywhere. There's blessing everywhere. Who is, who is wicked in you? Your ignorance is wicked in you. Everything wicked. Who is wicked? Who wicked you? Nobody is wicked to you. It's because you cannot find the way out. And the reason you cannot find the way out is the way you are receiving the issue. You're receiving it wrong. You receive it like God has failed you. Who, how will God fail you? Are you no more a child of God? God has failed you. I'm dying. Oh, they are killing me. Oh, who kill you? So, Again, it's not that the problem don't come to everyone. It is the response. It is the reaction. Me, that I already know I don't have a problem. But I'm still acting as if I have a problem. You see now, because this kind of problem is a good problem. God bless John Lewis that said there is what they call good trouble. <laughs> Amen. This is a good trouble. Trouble that connects you. But without this, maybe their bosses will not come out. Without this, maybe the owner will not come out. You, you are busy there showing out of character when there is a storm. Instead of you to know this is your opportunity to show you are a good person. Greatness does not emerge out of when there is no warfare. Greatness only is imagined when there is warfare. That is why many of you, 
that you think God has failed you, you failed yourself. Because in the midst of the storm, you did not think the God of solution. I think I've already preached good. Lord have mercy. I've already preached good. My God. I've already... Yeah, that's not what this is, not what I plan. I don't know if I can get into what I plan. I'm supposed to be introducing to you the vision for the month and give you chronological positioning and show that I was supposed to be a professor. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was supposed to do but um, it is well amen I will just share a little bit with you my thought process for you then I will stop right on Sunday we'll continue I hope you were blessed by that so I said one God will walk with storm but you cannot be Prophet, we, we know why is blessing going to come out of your storm? Blessing is going to come out of my storm because I never saw God give me a problem. I saw God give me a blessing, but it has to wrap itself in problem. So I never saw God as giving me a problem. That's the first thing. What are you seeing? You think the it's not the problem, it's what are you seeing in the problem? Sometimes God is telling you. I want to teach you something. I want to connect. Is part of our prophecy for this month. Is it not that God said we will connect us to empowering people? The problem arises. You don't know that's the pathway. That is the pathway. You begin to condemn what has just happened. You begin to report everybody. Come on. Let God walk. He walks in darkness. Do you notice that sometimes it is day already but it's still dark outside. It's a new day. He walks in darkness. You may not walk. He walks in darkness. Not because it's dark. Me, God is not walking. He's working it out for you. Praise the Lord. They don't know now what they're going to do. Me already know I'm ahead of the game. Praise the Lord. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm very happy. We'll be laughing while I'm getting my promotion. No quarrel. We shall not quarrel. It is all very good. It is laughter all the way. It is joy all the way. It is your long face that is making your breakthrough to stay long, not to come to you. You carry too much long face. Nobody wants that. You think if you show you are angry, we make somebody reward you. It makes people to run away from you that you are, you are a problem. Sometimes when somebody hurts you, show more laughter. Show more joy. In your pain, show more joy. I try everything to take people that know me. They will tell you when Prophet Eric is going through major storm in his life. He will smile the most. The day I had an accident and my leg is hurting me, that was the day I was jumping like this in this water. Say yes. Hey, hey, that was the day I have paid the most. Today, no pain. I didn't jump. I always do the opposite to confuse my enemies. Sometimes you want to carry the problem so that everybody can see it and say, sorry, oh, sorry. People that tell you, let me tell you this. People that tell you story in your storm, they never bless you. Never. If you get sorry in your storm, it is a sign that you won't get blessed in that storm. Praise the Lord. Because everybody do have storms in their life. Praise God. What is the vision for the month? And how should we think through it? The vision for the month is chosen by God. Chosen by God. That you are chosen by God. You are chosen by God. The thought process is scriptural reference is 1 Peter 2.29 and Matthew 2014. Those are the thought process where we are processing our thought from chosen by God. But what do we mean chosen by God? Our thought process, our scriptural illustrations, our scriptural thought process 
this is the King James Version. It said, you are a chosen generation. Amplifier Version says that you are a chosen treasure. You are God's treasure. Chosen by God. So that, that's the thought process. If you go to that same scripture, 1 Peter chapter 2, if you look at verse 10, if you go to 10 of this scripture, 1 Peter 2, 10, you will notice something. He said, you used to be not God's people, but now you are now God's people. He said, which in time past, you were not the people, but are now the people of God. You see that? You are now the people of God. You are now the people of God. Which in time past did not obtain mercy, but now have mercy. You see that? So you have to know that there is something that has happened in this month and in your life as a Christian. Another scripture that will go well with this is 1 Corinthians 5.17. Second Corinthians, I mean, 5.17. The first Corinthians or second Corinthians 5 17. You are a new creature of scripture. All things are passed away, behold, all things. Second Corinthians 5 17. Therefore, if a man be in Christ, he's a new, that new creature. That new. Before you were not, but now you are. So that's the layout. That's the layout. Now, the way I am thinking through this, and the Spirit of God is revealing it to me, is, okay, God is saying, oh, I love that. Increase that a little bit. That's so beautiful, Montra. Now, now, my God, that's powerful. I love that progression. Now, so, you're chosen by God. You're a new creature. Then, they Matthew 20, 14 is about the man Jesus giving an illustration about hiring people for his vineyard. And then the people that worked one hour, he paid them for the same amount of money he paid the people that worked for 11 hours. And if you should look at the amplifier version with this scripture, this is King James version. It talks about when it was. What I love about the scripture is that when it was time for payment, so he hired them to work. They work for eleven. When it was not time for payment, he decided to pay. You know, when I was looking at this scripture, I like. Let me tell you some emotions that run through my mind. I said, this scripture, this person like little trouble. In my mind, <laughs> I said, but you know why I said this person like trouble? Because if he would have paid force, eh, the people that work 11 hours and they left, and he now waits, the one that work one hour, you pay them, the one that work 11 hours will not see the payment you give to the one <laughs> that work one hour. So I last say, does this man need some counseling? You know, so that, I was just thinking that that was that's not in the scripture. They didn't say that, but I was just thinking like, sir, <laughs> you know, if you don't want trouble <laughs> in this world in human psychology, maybe my counsel and my advice for you will be call the level hours first and pay them when they go. Then you call the one that work one hour and say, I still want to be a blessing to you take. There won't be no jealousy. But how many of you know that God does not avoid you being jealous? God don't care if people are jealous of you. It will put you in a situation where people will be jealous of you. And he decided because he wanted to pass a message. He decided to start paying first. The people that only work one hour. Dave Ramsey, I know you know you will love this. Dave Ramsey, those people that they call it the slow snow boyfriend. 
Those of you that know the Ramsey, you know what I'm talking about. The one that teach about not using credit card and the rest of it. He called it the snowball. He says, start with the people you have to start with the lowest amount for us to clear up the debt. All right. So, he paid that. Now, when it came to the guys that worked, the people that worked 11 hours, and they were not upset, they were angry, he told them that they are forgetting that this he chose these people. This was his choice. This is what he wants to do. Do you know people really fight you forgetting this was your choice? <laughs> they, they, they almost want to fight you over your choice. Like, this is my choice now. This is what I want to do. So what's your problem? Can you mind your business? That's like what he was telling them. Mind your business, what I do. Amen. Because this is what I want to do. But, you know, they didn't like it, so. But the point is this. I love the word he said. He said, I chose to do it like this. When you are chosen by God, you work one hour and they give you 11 hours reward. That is November for you. Did somebody catch it? That is November for you. You work one hour. And he gives to you 11 hours blessing. So even though you are in the month of November, there is a blessing for all the other months that is connected to the month of November. So, prophet, preach this thing. I, I'm not still flowing. Ayakaba, can I say it the way I feel it in my spirit? I do not know Hegaraba what you were doing in January. I do not know if you applied yourself enough. And I do not know if you were just standing idle like those men in the book of Matthew 20. But I have a word for you. There is a blessing from the King of King. There is a blessing from the Lord of Lord. There is a blessing from I am that I am. I don't know what you did in February. Maybe you did not apply yourself correctly. Maybe it was March included and April included and May included and June included. And, and people begin to say, look at this man, nothing will happen for you. You have been standing idle because things have not aligned. Businesses have not taken off. Family has not aligned. Your ministry have not aligned. Your business have not aligned. But the God, I feel the Holy Ghost there, the God of the eleven. Yeah! The God of the eleven hour. Because he said this month, tell my people that I will bless them. So I said, God, why will you bless them? He said, because I chose them. For if you be in Christ, you are a offense. I pass away. My failure in January. God is about to look. Amen. God is about to overlook it in November. My failures in my business in March, in April. In May, God is about to overlook it because this month, God said, He has hired me. When God hire you, He pay you for hours that you have been standing idle. I don't care who has been oppressing you. I don't care who have been fighting you, who have caused joblessness. What demon have been working? They think they were taking you down, but they do not know they caused you to rest. You were standing idle, but the king of kings is coming for you. 
the Lord of Lords is coming for you. The I am that I am is coming for you. He's coming, he's coming. He's coming to hire you. He's coming to bless you. Don't worry. November will show. I say November will show. November will show that your God was not sleeping in April. Your God was not sleeping in January. Your God was not sleeping in August. For when the Lord again turns the captivity of Zion, we were like damn that dream. Our heart was filled with laughter. Our tongue was singing. Damn said among the heathen, the Lord has done for them where we they are glad we respond oh yes the lord has done great thing for us for they that so in tears shall reap in joy he that good for the weapon but bear a precious seed into the ground shall doubtless the god of 11 hour is at work Hayakabosha. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what is your word? You ready for it? Let's go. Let's go. Number one. As I pray, consign it this moon for you. Number one. The Lord said, tell my children, I am going to interrupt demonic patterns in their life. That is your first word. Write it down. I am going to interrupt. They kept them idle. God interrupted it and hired them. I don't care the demons that have kept you idle. God is interrupting it. Amen. He will hire you. I don't care what I've been going on. God is saying there's a way out. God is causing a all demonic attack will be interrupter. He said, God is interrupting. God said, I should tell you, he's interrupting demonic patterns. Patterns of failures, patterns of anxiety, patterns of worrying, patterns of defeat, patterns of depression. God is interrupting it. He's interrupting it. He's causing, he's forcing a new chapter in your life. That is your first word. In this month where you are chosen by God, in this month where you are the lively stone believer this month when you are priceless. Number two, the Lord said it's replacing your tears with joy. Is replacing your tears with joy because think about it you saw other people went to work but you were ready to work but nobody hired you maybe you have been sharing tears because nobody hired you but when you find out that all the time you were not working god still pay you for it you your tears have been turned into joy it will turn your tears into joy. The Lord I should tell you, even as you are standing, you should rehearse positivity. You should rehearse it. And know my God is a way maker for all things. Work together for good to them that love God. I know it will work for to my God. I know it will work for my God. Think positive. Rehearse positivity. That's your number two word there. Connected will replace tears with joy. Number three. God said November is the death of negativity. Because you see, immediately they find out that all these hours before was not negative connected to them. That it was all blessing they are more joyful. So God said all the waiting was not wasting. All the waiting was not wasting. All the waiting was not wasting. It is the death of negativity. He's about to increase your confidence as never as before by giving you a victorious win that will cause you to shout and praise him as you have never done before. Number four, what does it mean to be chosen? The Lord said, I should tell you, my Korobo Shada. He said, this month, there will be new empowerment. He said, God is connecting you with graceful people. That's what he told me. I was in the office and he was telling me, he said, graceful people, graceful people. There are people that are so elegant and full of grace. God is connecting you to graceful people that's your number four word and number five what does it mean chosen by God it means to be higher by God come on increase that mantra you know when you play music to and you hear the musicians playing they may get you number four you are hired by God 
Alaba Zayagada. You are hired by God. You are hired by God. My God. They've been standing idle. They've been hired. And the Lord said, when I hire you, no man can fire you. When I hire you, I pay you with my system. And that is what it means to be chosen by God. Number six, the Lord said, I should tell you, in this month of November, your sixth prophetic word, he said the end of your life, the end of your life will be 11 times better than your today. The end of your life will be prophetic word for you, my God. I feel the Holy Ghost. I He said the end of your life will be 11 times 11 times better than where you are now. The oh, thank you so much. The end of your life will be better than your today. The end of my life will be 11 times. I know somebody's receiving. Type it, type it. If you're receiving, type it. Come on, come on, come on. Shame the devil. Why? That's number seven. Number eight. Number that's number six. Number seven, the Lord said, now behold the lamb. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Number seven, he said, you are priceless. You are the priceless stone. You are priceless. You know, sometimes the stone which the builder have rejected has become the chief cornerstone. You are priceless. You are priceless. You are priceless. Though you are bought with a price, 1 Corinthians 6 20. But you are priceless. You are that priceless stone. Your value is too much. You are just priceless. That is the reason he shared his blood for you. You know, people have been looking at you. The reason why they walk by. It's not because you are not good for anything. It's because they felt you were too expensive. But when the right master came, when the right master came, he said, I can pay for this. They say it will cost you everything. They say, I still want it. He said, it will cost you everything. I still want it. They say, it will cost you your life. Because this person you want is priceless. He said, I'm willing. I will die on the cross to have these precious children. I will die on the cross. You are priceless. That's why he paid his the price, the ultimate price by sharing his blood for you. You are bought with the price. And as I started praying for your month of November, I asked the Lord, what do you have for your children? The Lord took me by the Spirit. I saw this for you. Number seven, number eight now. I saw breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. I see breakthrough for you. Number nine. I saw people getting well. I see health and wellness. I saw health and vitality. I saw people, number nine. I saw people getting well. Number 10, I saw prosperity. I see breakthrough. Number 8, I see health and wellness. Number 9, number 10, I see prosperity for you. Number 11, as I look and look and look and look and more, and I consider the matter, I saw jealousy all around you. And I said, what God, what is this? He said, when I bless, there are always people that will jealous. Haven't you read my song? That I always prepare a table before them in the presence of their enemies. If I don't want jealousy, I will not prepare a table before them in the presence of their enemy your mockers must see your lifting 
your attackers must see your rising. I always bless to create jealousy. I see jealousy around you because God always prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. When God stretched forth his hand, he wants men to see he's with you. He wants men to see he's backing you up. They see, but they cannot destroy you. They talk, but they cannot terminate you. They try to take you down, but you are rising every day. Because if God be Romans 8 31. For us, who can be against a car about us? I see jealousy around you, number level. And number 12, the last point for this session. He said, tell my people the hour of supernatural justice has come. Supernatural justice. Supernatural justice is getting paid. When you work one hour, 11 hours work. Supernatural justice. God is giving to you supernatural justice. The hour of supernatural justice has come. It is not a normal one. <laughs> supernatural justice when God pay you arrears. <laughs> he pays you arrears. For your pain, he pays you arrears. For your goodness, he pays you arrears. He pays you arrears. Amen. He pays you arrears. Glory be to God. For God turned Job's situation. He gave him double for his trouble. Double for his trouble. Double for his trouble. Whatever they have done, whatever have happened to you, I receive in the month of November supernatural justice. I tap into it. I say I received supernatural justice. Supernatural justice. Supernatural justice. Supernatural justice. Supernatural justice in the month of November. Are you blessed? This is what it means. 12th point of what it means to be chosen by God. He have hired you. Glory be to God. The end of your life will be 11 times better than today. Glory be to God. He's interrupting demonic pattern. He said, tell my people, I'm interrupting all the demonic pattern. They stand there, I do not hire, but I will interrupt it. I will hire them. Karaba Shatalaba. And I will shock the enemy. Because when I pay them, they will be garnished of it. For those that have been working and laughing at you that have not been working, they're about to see you get paid. Supernatural justice is about to manifest for you. Because in all of your affliction, You've been praising God. For he said to you, didn't I tell you? <laughs> didn't I tell you John 11, 40? Didn't I tell you that if you believe, if you believe, no matter the storm, no matter the attack, no matter the trouble, if you believe, you shall see the glory of the Lord. If Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, by now he stinketh. Didn't I tell you? If you believe, you will see the glory of God. For all things are possible for him, to him, and to all that believes. You believe, and I see you on top. Stand up on your feet and give him praise. I connect with you again. God bless you. Your days are blessed. Your November is blessed. Welcome to the month of November. Chosen by God. You are chosen by God. Those of you online, declare it, type it out. I am chosen by God. I am the lively stone believer. And I am priceless. God is interrupting every demonic pattern in my life. God have hired me. Nobody can fire me. This end will be 10 times. My end will be 10 times. It will be 11 times more better than my today. Glorious my glory have just started. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.
Give him praise and glory.